hello everyone welcome to how to fix stack in this video guys we are going to troubleshoot the issue the user profile service failed the sign in user profile cannot be loaded so how to troubleshoot this issue i will show you three to four steps to troubleshoot this issue easily so first of all guys i should suggest to and i should tell you why you are facing this issue so this issue comes guys if your current profile is corrupted so we need to repair that profile into the safe mode so let's start without wasting our time step by step so step number one we need to access the advanced screen guys so you need to hold the shift key on your keyboard just press and hold the shift key and once you press the hold and shift key you need to click on this restart options and click on restart and keep holding the shift key until you get this screen blue screen here now you will see please wait options so keep holding the shift key and until you get the automatic repair options there and from there we will repair our windows profile corruptions now you can release the shift key guys so in here we need to click on troubleshoot now we need to click on advanced options now in here guys we need to click on this option which says startup setting now click on restart option here we are going to boot into the safe mode now you need to press f4 or 4 on your keyboard to enable the safe mode option okay so once you have press f4 or 4 key on your keyboard you can try both key which one is working for you now we need to wait here and we are going into the safe mode if you are able to you should able to access the safe mode screen guys if not i have the fix for you also now put the password if you have now we need to open the command prompt simply open the command prompt as admin and each profile on your windows has a unique sid number so we need to hit the command in order to get the sid number of that profile so we need to type a wmic user account space get space name comma sid and hit enter so you need to press here the command wmic space user account space get name then dash sid sid number okay so in here guys this is my username so you need to look for your correct username okay which you want to log in here so now in my case i'm going to use with this account username is user if we have another we need to copy this sid number here so select here con press control c on your keyboard and simply open the notepad so once you have opened the notepad just minimize the cmd also now we need to go to this option file explorer open that and we need to go to the this pc okay and we need to go to the c drive here now open your users folder and in here guys you will see the list of users available on your computer so in my case i have the username is user just make a double click on it and this is the path guys you need to also identify that so open the c registry editor as admin and once you open that we need to double click on the hk local machine we need to double click on the software then double click on the microsoft now we need to look for windows nt in a w series the option double click current version double click and now we need to look for profile list 
in a piece series here is the profile list now expand it so once you expand that you need to drag it here like this and match your you need to match your SID number here in my case guys I have the only SID number here since I have only one account here so as you can see here it is ending with word double zero one so this is my SID number so I have identified that I have the SID number this option okay so you need to click here now we need to go to the profile image profile image is the responsible for loading profiles so make a double click on it and make sure its value is as I have shown you here just you need to copy here and you need to paste it here if it is as it is so click on ok so we have changed that but in your case guys if you have the SID with the dot BAK like this okay so you need to just delete the dot BAK from here let me show you if if it is like this in your case okay this option you need to right click and simply rename it and remove the dot BAK and hit enter so once you hit enter you just need to restart your system here and simply your issue is going to fix but if you have guys like one is with this and another with the BAK like this if you have two folders here with the same SID number with the one is dot BAK and another one is with without BAK so you need to simply right click on the without BAK folder and simply you need to delete that okay you need to delete that without BAK and with the BAK folder you need to rename it and change it to like this okay you need to change it like this way and delete this option the first option and remove the BAK from the this SID number so I hope you have understood that so once you have done that also make sure the profile image is this the same you have account so once you have done that you need to restart your system and check if it fix your issue or not if you have still issue guys just cross this out and we need to go to this drive this PC C drive and in here we need to look for the users and we need to look for default folder so go to view default user and tick this option hidden items now default folder is showing now you need to right double click on it and we need to rename the nt user dot dat this is the user data profile so we need to right click and simply rename it with the we need to rename before dot dat so once you have done that you need to go back here and double click on your username and copy this dat, DAT folder and simply paste into the default profile so if you are able to copy and paste it here so your issue is going to fix now you just need to restart your system guys from here simply restart your system in a normal mode and you are good to go your issue should fix now now also guys we need to make sure that the services of user profile are running here simply open the services expand it and press U on your keyboard and look for this user profile double click on it and make sure its startup type is automatic and services running click on apply click on ok and once you click on apply and ok just restart your system from here 
like this and your issue should fix now so if nothing is working guys we have the left with the last option that is reset your pc while keeping our data and user profile safe so again you need to go to